hello. What are you doing up there? Come and have a cuddle. Oh, you're so cute. Tickle that tummy. Tickle, tickle, tickle. And that little chin. Look at your whiskers. Oh, such a sweet little pussy cat. Oh, hello everyone. Welcome to story time. Are we going to sit you up there? Let's sit you there. There we go. Today I'm reading I Want a Cat. It's written and illustrated by Tony Ross and the publishers Anderson Press. Jessie wanted a cat. All her friends had pets. Some of them had big pets and some of them had little pets. Jessie felt that she was the only girl in the world with no pet. And Jessie wanted a cat. Her mum and dad always said no. Crawly, creepy, yowly things they called them. So they kept giving Jessie toy cats instead. But Jessie wanted a real cat. Then Jessie planned a wonderful plan. She collected lots and lots of fluffy white cloth, some needles and some cotton, and she locked herself in her room. And she made herself a cat suit. Next, she took all of her proper clothes and she buried them in the garden. <gasps> I'm going to be the cat in this house, she purred. Oh, can you purr? Purr, purr. <laughs> what on earth do you think you're doing, said Mum. I'm going to be like this until I get a cat, said Jessie. And if I don't get a cat, then I'm going to be like this forever. On Monday, Jessie went to school. When the teacher saw her cat suit, he shouted so loudly, she jumped up on top of the board and wouldn't come down, not even for a saucer of milk. On Tuesday, Jessie went to a restaurant. Cats don't sit at tables, said Jessie, even in posh places. Milk and trout, she said to the waiter, and please don't cook the trout. May it be served down here? Certainly, madam, said the waiter. Soon, Jessie began to smell a fish. Poo! When it was time for bath and bed, Dad went to catch Jessie. Now you'll have to take that silly suit off, he grinned. No, I won't, said Jessie. Not until I get a cat. Then Jessie curled up on her bedroom floor. In the middle of the night, Mum and Dad were roused by a horrible noise. It was like a million pigs falling downstairs and the neighbours banging on the front door. It was Jessie on the garden wall. I want a cat, she was howling. Give her a cat, 
complained Mr. Biggs from next door. Give her a cat, complained Mr. Figs. Shouldn't be allowed, complained Mrs. Figs. Give her a cat, complained Mum. So, early next morning, Dad went to the pet shop and chose a cat. He took it to Jessie's door and knocked. Jessie, he called, I've got a surprise for you. Woof, woof, I want her. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the story. You're going to wave goodbye. Should we wave goodbye? Bye, everybody.